Hi everybody, welcome very much to another casted game of the online ladder between Divine DFP in the color blue playing as the English versus Give You Anxiety aka GUA in the color red playing as the Ottoman Civilization in the good old, the best map of ever, Dry Arabia. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Use the links down below to find me live on Twitch. I think at least I sh I'm sure GUA streams on Twitch as well. So I'll leave the link down below. I don't know about the Vine. I think so, but I'm not sure. So I'll leave the link in the description down below as well, if that's the case. Now, English versus Ottomans. A very fun matchup. I think Ottomans have different ways to approach this matchup. English will always be English. It will be a lot of longbows in the Fiddle Age. Into perhaps some man at arms. If they decide to go deeper, but usually deeper into the Fiddle Age. Usually that's not the case, right? So they might end in some man at arms, but will not make this huge group of man at arms and longbows. Also because Ottomans then will not be investing into gold units, so they can go to castle a bit faster and pop out that Manganel that just annihilates the whole longbow mass, right? Other than that, Jiwei coming here, not opening with the military school, very wise decision, because the English villagers can shoot your spears and they die, and if they get close to the TC, they are gone, because that TC is super strong. A lot of sheep coming in very beautifully to the TC of GUA. Scout has more sheep here in the back. Does he know his map hacking, bro? He's directly go going there. Nah, I'm kidding, guys. These guys, they are too good. They don't need to map hack. Right? Speaking of being good, Divine DFP, our blue English player, is sitting right now at rank number 16 in the online ladder. His opponent of today. GUA, the red Ottoman player, sits in the rank 55 in the online ladder. So, two top 100 players, and if there were not smurf accounts, both of, the, of these players will be ranked higher as well. Right. So here they are, chilling, enjoying a match in Dry Arabia. They are both edging up Twin Minaret Madras and also the Council Hall. No doubt, it's not even, I don't even need to think about what landmark will they choose. Oh, this forward gold is kind of bad for GUA. Those longbows will be harassing super, super easy. Divine killing the enemy deer. Because he's, is he expecting a second TC on the deer? Was it a misclick? Because he kills three of them and then leaves. So, I don't know. What was the Vine's intention over there? Then we have GUA coming in, looking to scout Divine Base. Be careful, you don't want to lose those sheep. You're running into the English town center. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was running close. Right, no villagers pop inside. So the scout leaves another day. Let's go. Over here. Din Merit Madresa finishing. And then... Are we... No, there will not be a military school. So, GUA choosing to play without military schools, at least for right now. Looping around the base of the vine. There are no... A lot of things to scout, right? It's just at the council hall. Over here, yeah. Villages on berries. No wheelbarrow. And... Uh, wait, nobody on wood. So, the wheel... Wait, is this a fast castle? There is nobody on wood for GUA. How will he defend against the longbows? Divine is not going for a second PC. He's going for farms. No sheep. And GUA knows there is no second PC. There is no military buildings. He's not producing longbows though. Maybe he doesn't have enough wood for that. No, he doesn't have. He has now. But he's not queuing longbows. Are you telling me no player will be 
units in Feudal, both players will be fast castling, just like that. I guess the English player would be in a better position then, because you'll have farms already, right? And uh, the Ottoman player needs to go for the berries and the deer outside of his base, so way more exposed, and that's a fast castle. Uh, Jua is telling the vine as a scout passes by. Hey, hey bro, I'm going castle age, like, real quick. You too, right? Yeah, he too. No, he's not producing longbows to defend, but he knows his enemy has no units. He's scouting, right? Maybe he's only scouting that now. He, he could use... <laughs> he's dropping the palings for no calorie damage there. All right. So it will be like eight, nine minutes of no action over here, guys. Unfortunately, because both players are choosing to go castle. So let's speed up. No longbows are moving from the vine. And Jue sees that. But he's already going up with the Mehmed Imperial Armory close to the town center. Good choice, because... That's his only defense right now. A lot of gold being collected. But that will be stopped. Because the longbows are coming in. Look at that. And villagers being removed from the gold. I, he can go back there, right? But the scout will give it away. But then you just move, come here again. The longbows are super slow. So, it, right. They have 1.12 tiles per second. Almost only one tile per second. Villagers with wheelbarrow move faster, actually. But they don't have wheelbarrow right now. So they have the same speed. Villagers sh being shot down. And I think that villager will go down. Yep. No. He does not. Divine shoots in a different villager. We might lose a longbow here. And uh, the edge up is through. GOA lost a villager. What's the plan now? Jiwei going very strong on wood. Divine is not close to castle. He was harassing over there, but lost longbow. Alright. Still 8 longbows, very hard to deal with. He could go back here and really get... Bro, if he attacks this, it's so difficult for Jiwei to do something. But he has enough wood right now to drop some buildings. Or just drop a, a musk. He's looking to grab relics. Yes. All right, Jiwei. Good castle time. And Divine is not pressing the issue. This is complicated for him. Because the enemy's castle. Manganel is coming in. No blacksmith, though. To make that Manganel go faster. Now going for the relics. He got the vizier point. The double imam. Scout. Oh, he's, he knows that. He knows about that imam. And spears are arriving. For Divine. He's moving the longbows. Only eight here. Well, I think they will... No, they will not arrive in time. Because he just, uh, the um, Imam just needs to go through this direction. And they are pushed away. Knight coming out. Good move from Divine. Bringing the spears. But only two spears. Oh, look. The, lo <laughs> the, bro, the knight can't do anything. Blacksmith is here. Now these buildings are producing faster. Up to 30? No. 20% faster? No, it's 30% faster. Alright. I like that. Relics being dropped on the floor. You don't need the... The musk. Not yet. So, you save yourself some wood. And you get the relics under your control anyway. This relic will be hard to get, because it's in the way of the Vine's troops. Those two relics, gettable, very gettable. Just go around here, sneaky, and no problem. Manganel is here. No Springles, no man at arms to dive the Manganel. There is a tower, though. Make the Vine's units attack faster. Will that help? Will that help? Because the Mangnil will just kill everything. But Jiwei has no units. 
only a Sipahi and two archers. The knights are chasing a scout and the Sipahi too, so yeah. The Magnell is the only thing that Jue has to defend his base. Divine getting close to castle and building army. I like that. It's a good combination. Farms going strong. Do we have... We have article. We had our horticulture. Yes, indeed. Knights and Sipahi doing damage here. Oh, we we'll get this spear. Boom! Spear goes down. Nice, nice, nice. Jue coming, looking for a angle here. I think these villas are unprotected. For sure. We don't have any range defense, so the knights will take a lot of damage here. Nine plus two, so eighteen. They're, they're, okay, so they're taking 14 damage per shot. And that attacks really fast as well, actually. Knights coming in. Spear is ready to defend. Alright. There we go. Relic being captured by Jiwei. Is he going fast the Imperial? By any means. Imam dies trying to capture the sacred site. Spears chasing the knights. Relic coming home. More knights and Sipahi and the scout. The white tower comes online to protect the farms over there. Good move from the vine. Maybe a bit too conservative. Oh, it's so dangerous. Look at this. The knights and the Sipahi are right there. Okay, villagers get safe. No villager goes down. His units might go down here. No, they're just chilling. These villagers do have textiles, by the way. Alright, and the age up will be concluded by the vine. Second manganel is out. But remember... White Tower can produce any unit faster, inclusive Springolds. So those Manganels will be exposed to the Springold faster production of the English when edging up with White Tower. No scaling though. Not going for that free second TC, so you will not be scaling as well as you could. Knights killing somebody over there. Keeping the control of the Sacred Site. Oh, I think Jiwe did not scout this relic. No, he did scout the relic. He knows, but he's just not going. Maybe he thinks it's not worth it. Alright. Here we go. Manganals are ready to shoot. They're hungry. Mongols taking good shots, but not not too much. Nothing crazy. Veteran Spear upgrade coming in. Jiwei still with little army. Scouts arrive. Not Scout Knight. And I, I heard the relic being captured. Oh no. Is the ones in the base. Into the musk now. That's three relics. Well, well played. Jiwei with three relics. Now going for more military schools. That will be the fourth one. We can kind of count the Mehmed Imperial Armory as a military school, right? It's an Imperial Armory, not a military school, right? A method is here to give a boost to the army of Jiwei. Jiwei has lower numbers, but I think he has better composition. No Springles coming out. Oh, he's pumping crossbows. I don't think I agree. I mean, Jiwei is making knights, but he only has four knights. Three. The rest is archers and spears and uh, his own crossbows that will be attacking faster if there is no tower around, right? But he, he can always make them faster. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, welcome. More crossbows coming in. A market to sell some food to get some gold. I think so. Let's see, a Springle takes 15 seconds to produce from the White Tower. Does it produce 100% faster? Yeah, everything 100% faster.
nice damage there. Spirit is going down. Archer is with only one range, only, only one range damage upgrade. The second one is coming through. Oh, oh, where are you going? The Imam is going for that other sacred site, but look, another Imam looking to get a relic over there. Method and oh, a villager goes down here. Uh, no, Joey did no, 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 just yeah. Sacred site, and that's a very smart move from GOA, going for one source of gold and another source of gold. Oh, does he know about that Imam? I don't think so. Right? He doesn't. Right? And that Imam being pushed away from the sacred site. Divine now with more villagers. That's a second TC. I knew it. Great food income from the vine. Jiwei needs to find a second food source on that deer and on that deer as well. The cavalry invasion is being destroyed. But the distraction worked. GOA picks the fourth relic. There we go. Another musk. He's already ready. That's three manganels. There is one sprinkle. We have more sprinkled in queue. And uh, Divine can even uh, queue more. So not looking good for the manganels here. Wait, is the method down? No, it's just the method is just not here. There we go. Method is right there. That's a lot of ranged units. Maybe a Manganel will be good from... Uh, it only takes 20 seconds to make from the White Tower. So that will... Oh, and now Jiwei can claim that fifth relic. Ooh, that will be a lot of relics. And that's a sacred site. And he wants another sacred site. I like that. That's the fourth Manganel, god damn! I don't know how the I don't know how the English player will deal with this. He has only two Springles. But he can really quickly reach to four. But the man Ooh, his villagers are going down here. He's on a double TC though. So losing those villagers is not as impactful, but four of them go down. These cavalry units with two ranged no only one range defense. So they're taking a lot of damage here. Bro, like, like, who needs rams when you have four, four manganels, right? I think Jiwei needs more springles here. He's making more. He has, he has three in queue. All right, he wants to win the Springled War. I like that. English protecting the farms with some spears. Over there, more barracks being added. A little raid was maybe trying to come down here. D double wall. Or the vine here on the gold. Oh, he has no more gold. It's on, the only other gold is here. Oh, that's how I see Jiwei plans to play this. Is deny him the gold. That's true. The English player is getting too much within his own base. Now they can't make crossbows. They can't make men at arms. They can't go for upgrades. Right? It's not looking good. Oh, Mether out of position. Mether goes down. The buff also goes down. Another Mether arrives. Oh, and Jiwei got that Vizier point. To make your siege shoot faster. If they have people inside. Hmm. 
Nice damage. Power goes down. What's the answer from Divine here? He can't kill the Manganels because of the Spring Olds. And uh, the only option is to catch Jiwei distracted, right? Like right now, here we go. Springles going down. Ooh, two of the Springles went down. Divine has six, has four Springles now. Jiwei has three. But they shoot faster, remember that. Fourth, fifth, five Springles versus three of Jiwei. Oh no, that is four actually. But Jiwei with a crazy military lead. Those military schools are pumping units non-stop. More units arriving here. Good Manganel shots over there. Look at that. That's a lot of Springles. But they're going down. And it's ranged mass versus ranged mass. But one of the players has the Manganels. The other has not. But the White Tower and the English TC pushing the army from G way away. Seven minutes until Sacred Victory. I like those winning conditions for g -Way. And yes, now 5 is carrying the 5th Relic in. So that's a lot of gold, guys. That's 700 gold in total, passively. 300 from the Sacred Sites. And 400 from the 5 Relics. But one of the Relics is not arriving. What is the what is the 5th Relic? It is the one in the middle. It's, it's not there yet. Where is the the imam with the relic? I can't find the guy. Oh, maybe he got into the into the musk with the relic. That stuff. Oh, it's over there. No. All right. Oh, GOA running out of food. That's true. He needs a farm transition right now. He's not doing it, though. He has to finish this now. Otherwise, English will recover really, really quick. Another Vizier point comes through. Maybe he'll get some sheep. No, it's a Janissaries. Nice. Push it. Right, huge battle happening here. Manganel's going down. Springles from the vine, keeping him alive. Okay, it's Springled micro time. It's not working. Jiwa is still in a siege superiority position. Another Manganel goes down. Only two left. Another Manganel going down. Half HP. They are not shooting. The Manganels are not shooting g -way. No, they are. Huge damage. The ranged mass is going down. And GG gets called. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Great Ottoman push in the Castle Age from g -way. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch using the links down below. Until the next time, as a Cloud Surfer on Ezos Empires, surfing out. See you soon.